society, you mentioned the society, how we look at this issue. Is society better off with more or less stay-at-home moms? Right. I would say that the society is better off with more women working and that the uh, women are better off as well. And since women are people, I am interested in women as people and asking the question about whether they're using their capacities, whether they're earning an income that makes them independent, and whether they're paving the way for the next generation of girls to come along and realize their dreams as well. Let's talk about the children here. Is a child better off if mom stays home? Um, well, uh, there isn't any very good data to that effect. But I would say that if we should find out tomorrow that children were better off, or earpieces were better off, <laughs> Um, if we found out tomorrow that children were better off, then the solution would be for both parents to take time at home. My answer to that question is always, um, why would you sacrifice women's careers and their futures and their aspirations for a trivial improvement in the well-being of children? But if we should find out that children needed adults at home constantly, for the first time in human history, Linda, um, then I think it would be better if both parents would take a hand. I, I think, you know, I here's my take. You said a trivial improvement. I don't see how you can say that. I mean, when children are so much, it seems, when mom or dad are at home, that that should be option number one. That my career is the thing that's trivial. At the end of the day, when I look back at my life on my tombstone, I want Michael Alano's good dad, not good news anchor. And what I do is a, in my career, who gives a rip? What I do with my child today, that's going to last a lifetime. Well, I mean, what you do with your career is going to last your lifetime. My and lifetime? What I do with my kids is going to last for generations. Uh, no, just their lifetime. And what they pass on to their the kids. As your lifetime. And maybe one of the things that they might pass on to their children is a respect for meaningful work which is a deep human enterprise and something that people need or you would not be sitting there right now. So I think that this business about when I'm on my deathbed is a little silly. What you really ought to ask is how It's not silly. It's the legacy I leave. I, my career, course, unless I'm curing right. cancer, but is not half as, as important as what I do as a dad or uh, Erica as a mom well, or I you would, as a mom. Well, I would say that actually curing cancer would be something that people wouldn't do if they were so busy staying home. So that's a very good example or writing symphonies or doing any one of the many things that hum adult human beings do do. So no matter how much you shout about it, in <laughs> fact, the question is how do you evaluate your life during your life, not on your deathbed. That would be the last moment. When you live your life day in, day out, and you make your decisions day in, day out, you're making decisions about what's meaningful to you. And, and, and going to work is meaningful to you, or you wouldn't have decided Not to saying do that a career isn't meaningful, or that parents right. are better people than those right. that aren't parents. Right. And, and we're and taking about shouting, but this hits close to home. My wife's a stay-at-home mom, so uh -huh. there's the emotion, and I'm sure that's the emotion for a lot of people out there. Linda, I appreciate your insights and the provocative conversation we've had. Hopefully we can have more time to pick it up again sometime soon. Thank you again. Appreciate it. Well, there you have it. Boy. It, it is. It, it is. It's, it's an emotional one. You it, know, it absolutely talk about is. That. And I know what you're saying. It does hit home. You know, like we were talking earlier, it hits home for me. And, and we have, you know, your wife stays home with the kids. And, and it happens that in my house, we both work. And that's what, for our two families, we found work best. And I think that that, at the end of the day, is what we found in our discussion this morning was that the best solution is the one that works for your and family. And I think it gets heated when, and you and I talked about this, if a young mom walked into the room right now and they want advice, that's where you and I are going to come with, maybe from a different perspective, right. our advice, and we hope to win the day. Right, and we'll say, hey, we can tell you what works for us, but I think we both agree, too, or maybe we did it, but, but I know, <laughs> my thing was, and maybe it's because I'm a mom, as a woman, I could never say to her, you have to do this, because she and her partner and her family have to make that decision on their own. Mike. Good stuff. Love I'll see you in the that. office. Love you. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I might kick you out. Just kidding. We want to know what you guys think about this. Should parents work or should one parent stay home with the kids? Email at cnn.com slash prime news. You can do it all at the website.